this video is little different from the rest of the videos in that so this is an urging video for common people to use a equipment no use thermometers hi friends i am dr karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel health related explanations are provided via simple videos which are released every week if you want to see such videos kindly subscribe to this channel also if you have any queries kindly put it in the comment section i'll try to make videos on those queries in subsequent weeks this week's video is about a simple advice use thermometer everybody uses thermometer what is the big deal in this but what i have found out in this recurrent viral infection season is whenever parents come to me regarding you no know, the history of fever they say the child feels feverish or i feel feverish what was the temperature we don't know we haven't measured the head was warm the body was warm the hands and feet were warm this was only the head was feeling warm but the body was cold so i don't know whether fever was there or not so doctor also is confused so at present there is no fever so is the child having fever or not so child the doctor can examine other things can he examine the past so that's the issue we use today gadgets for each and everything but we refuse to use a simple gadget like thermometer why should it be used no often especially in a follow up visit as a follow up for viral infections when the child has had a cold or any other viral infection the mother out of their extraordinary concern feels that the child is warm warm the child is continuously given some antipyretic that is fever reducing medicines like paracetamol the doctor has also told that the fever is continuing but when examined actually the fever has subsided so this might lead to lots of unnecessary medication unnecessary tests unless we simply measure the temperature what is the problem in measuring we have thermometers mercury thermometers because of the associated environmental hazards they are banned now okay you have digital thermometers or infrared thermometers you have thermometers to be measured inside the ans or into the ear canal or normally your digital thermometer which can be used in the axilla or in the oral cavity and your infrared thermometer which are usually measured on the temporal region on the forehead okay so what is the problem which one to use simple digital thermometer should be okay to use not a problem your axillary temperature is usually less by half a degree so don't worry anything more than 99.5 in the axillary temperature measured by a digital thermometer should be an indication for fever because the normal oral temperature is around 98.6 the normal rectal temperature for fever the fever cut off is around 100.4 so an axillary temperature of more than 99.5 should denote that so anything more than 99.5 measured in the axilla by a digital thermometer is good enough for you to understand that the child has fever what about infrared thermometers infrared thermometers if calibrated well if are accurate they are also good but the problem is majority of the ones which are present or uh, may not be so good and it might be affected by sweat on the forehead a colder environment a colder surrounding the distance between the thermometer and the temple that is forehead okay all these can alter the reading of infrared thermometer especially if they have come from sunlight you no know, they were exposed to sunlight in a hot environment they are coming in they are in a colder environment the distance between your thermometer and the temple and also the sweat on the forehead all these things can show erroneous results how to identify erroneous results don't worry if the thermometer shows normal temperature for your child but if you feel your child has fever use the thermometer on yourself if it shows a lower than normal value okay i am seeing more people saying about 95 degree 96 degree no living human being can have such temperatures that is called hypothermia that's not normal i see food delivery persons reporting a temperature of 95 degree so somebody walking running can't be having 95 degree so if your thermometer shows 95 degree that means either the thermometer is at fault 
or the measurement method of measurement was at fault so kindly avoid that no measurement so probably either you measure re-measure or otherwise use a different thermometer but use thermometer to identify fever this is just a simple humble honest appeal so that yourself as well as the treating physicians are benefited hopefully this video would have been useful if you found this video useful kindly share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye